The Skip, part two. I'm gonna use the same team as last time. Out of the available heroes, I really do feel like Mercer, Maggie, and our civvy shooter, George. Yeah, they're definitely the best choice. Um, this time though, George has got the burnout rifle. Maggie has got the Savior's handgun. And Mercer has got the Hazard Bulldozer. I think that this gives us sort of what we had the first time round. We've got some great range there. Uh, also the ability to set things alight and to sort of cripple and ensnare. We, we had that in the last go round. Just this is a different sort of configuration. Uh, I, think, I think we did okay last round, I really do. Let's see if we can do even better this time. Cheeky. It's appearing right in front of us there. Didn't help much though, did it? Um, do we wanna, do we wanna start here? Here, let's, let's do this. They're all bunched up, chance to get lots of them all at once. You're not crippled. Okay, we're gonna have to intercept that non-crippled speedy walker. Good, our defensive shooting does what defensive shooting is supposed to do. Stops stuff in its tracks and kills it. Armored walkers, armored schmorkers. You're not crippled. Let's change that, shall we? The joys of having tactical on your armor. That lovely ability to move after you shoot if you hadn't moved before you shot. Looks like a bunch more armored walkers are coming in, not exactly scared. But then the challenge just, it does ramp up very, very quickly. Okay, I didn't actually mean to move him there. That's not strictly a problem though, that's fine. Uh, George, mate. Do this. Courtesy of Tactical, you can move again. Uh, do we want to waste our charge? I don't think we need to spend... Uh, whatever. Don't like the way that guy was looking at us. Let's put him down. Okay, another two turns before we get some reinforcements. Let's get that tank on fire. Hit all of these guys with some good news. Retreat to this side of the map. Put those guys down. Maggie takes her place. We're ready for the next wave. Nothing fancy on this map. No barrels to explode. Nothing like that. I, I'm sure I remember on when Last Stand first came out, there was a weird map that had a cage in the middle and you could activate some controls and you could open or close the doors and it was kind of fun and it was interesting but it was a flipping nightmare of a map and it was more annoying than it was uh, uh, interesting and I'm, I'm not massively surprised that they kind of did away with that map. Can't remember what it was called. I must have some videos of it. Um, right, what do we want to do here? See how much damage you caused doing this. Perfect, he's gonna burn to death. 
get these guys cooking. Tell you what, how about Maggie does this? And then we put you out of our misery just, just in case you've got enough hit points to, to barely survive. You know, because that would not be good for us. Good. Well done, George. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Walkers, walkers everywhere. I think... We can bust out a charge attack here. We've got to remember that those are going to be absolutely devastating. Charge attacks with a little bit of extra Carol's cookies power. And if Man at Arms kicks in, everything is just. Everything in front of us pretty much just dies. Because that would be a very, very powerful set of attacks. Let's get you with Maggie, get her a charge point. Let's get you cooking. Get a little bit closer just so we can see what's coming in, hopefully. Okay, lots and lots of walkers for that wave. One, two, three. Yeah, I don't want to get any closer than that just because there's a bundle of flipping speedy walkers. I think to be safe, we hit you. Good man at arms kicking in there, doing what it's supposed to do. Meaning that we can just hurt targets in a way that we otherwise wouldn't be able to. Let's get you cooking. Let's get you dead. Okay, we get another attack. Let's put you on fire. Okay, um, I think it's charge attack time again. I want to I want to cause a lot of damage to these guys. It's gonna be a question of where we go. I really want to clear out these guys because the bad guys are coming in from the right hand side of the screen again. Um, yeah, I think we do this, actually. I think you're going to have to really take some hurt. You're the one who's going to be in our way, this armoured walker. So we kind of want to get rid of him. These other guys, we should be able to avoid them as best we can. These guys are taking some hurt. That's what we like to see. Now, Maggie, do you want to finish off that armoured walker? Good. George, it'd be lovely if you set these guys alight. That'll do. That was a little bit touch and go, but we've got through that little challenge. Would have liked to kill him, would have liked to get some charge points, but okay. Let's get you cooking. Mercer, do you want some charge points? You do? Good. We're just going to get back here. We're just going to collect ourselves, regroup. Maggie, get yourself some charge points, love. There we go. Okay, would have liked to have done better than that. Would have liked to have got more on fire. Magic, there we go. George, mate, you've really got a, a bit of a better job of setting these little effers on fire. You really do. I think I think you could be a problem if we don't deal with you. Okay, I was hoping to get some charge points back by killing that walker that I just shot with uh, Maggie, but... Okay, Mercer's fully charged. That's great. I think... Yeah, I think that that Commonwealth... Just don't like the idea of him being around and being in good health. I just don't, just don't like that that thought. Um, Q 
Okay, you should, should burn to death, but I'm not gambling on that. Let's kill you. The bonus is that we get a charge point for killing you as well, of course. Maggie, let's get you fully charged. George, give him a bit more good news. See what just came in, shall we? See what the, uh, the undead cat dragged in. Now you're going to have to be crippled. I want you, sir, on fire, please. Thank you. See, all you got to do is ask nicely. Let's get some charge points for Mr. Mercer. Should be able to kill off that Commonwealth. Yep, great. These guys are cooking nicely. Let's leave them in the oven. And uh, let's just finish you off. Ooh, we've got a cheeky speedy there. Got a couple of speedies now. Um, they ain't so speedy if you cripple them. Neither of you are crippled. What the hell? Yeah, let's do that. Hello, where did you come from? I don't think we need to use charge point just yet for Mercer. There's every chance that uh, um, Man at Arms is going to kick in. And that'll add a little extra hurt. Hmm. I'm concerned about you, though. You've got to be on fire, so... Well, that normal walker over here is, is proving to be a real... Flipping nuisance. Good, he's on fire now. That's that's kind of what we wanted. Oh, we got some goos. Got some goos in the mix. Right. Let's see if we can get all of you guys cooking. No. Frustrating. Let's get you crippled. No, you don't want to be crippled. You've kind of got to be crippled, otherwise you're going to start eating George's face. Um, mm, mm, what's more important, getting him on fire or getting a charge point? Let's get a charge point. Tactical means that we can hit them and get the heck out of the way. Really want to get that goo on fire. Brilliant. That's pretty good. Can we kill you? Can we get a charge point for doing so? Yes, we can. Oh, Mercer, mate. Sorry. Obviously, I misjudged his movement. Sorry, dude. Now, just in case, I'm actually going to get George and Maggie out of here. I don't think there's a ton of benefit actually in using a charge attack here. So let's hold on to that. Let's get that normal walker cooking. Let's get you cooking. Okay. Bad guys appearing in a very annoying place, but we can... Use a charge attack and kind of nullify them. Good, that was stunned. That's perfect. I want them cooking as well. You, sir. Got to be crippled. Thank you.
Hit them hard, run away. Now let's see, I can't guarantee that I will get keeping the peace. If you survive and I move here, you can still get me, can't you? But he is potentially a risk to old George. Um, this is going to have to work. Yeah, he's definitely dying. Let's make sure that you're dead. Yeah, okay, that was good. That was good. Happy with the use of a support there to, to just get us where we needed to go with that attack. Let's see. Oof, very satisfying. Okay, good. You're not going to die to the fire just yet. Let's give you a helping hand. Let's just put you out of our misery. Good. I think it's worth getting Mercer slightly out of position just to get a charge point. Nope, didn't kill. Didn't kill the target that I wanted to kill. That's okay, fine. That's what's happened. Oh, let's get you cooking, mate. Cripple all of these guys and get the duck out of Fodge. Let's get you cooking. Just a regular walker there, but he could become a nuisance. Okay, that helps. Let's go here and let's get your other regular buddies here on fire. Give him some extra attention as well. Little concerned that we've got some reinforcements coming in next turn and it could get a little bit spicy. Yeah, mainly because of these guys right here. I'm not, not happy with them being there. Can we... I don't want to hit those guys because I want them dead. I really, really do. Um, you get a charge attack. You get a regular attack. Mercer makes a move. Good. They're both cooking. Okay. Bugs me that you are not crippled. That's much, much better. Uh, he should die to the fire. He's going to have to or else Mercer is toast. Okay, great. That worked out. Phew. Get some lovely shots on those guys. Now we might find ourselves in range of that regular walker. We should be able to defend ourselves, get some defensive shooting, put him down. That's exactly what happens. That was good. That was a full-on retreat, but we had to do it. Paid off. We repositioned. We're a lot safer now. Let's get these guys cooking. Take a shot. Scoot away. Your shoot and scoot method. Get you cooking, back off. Let's give you another little tap. Okay, we've got another goo there, not on fire. Mm, still not on fire. Good. Uh, let's get you cooking. Give you guys some attention. Good, that's fantastic that he is ensnared. 
where can we get the most value for money out of our infinite range? Here, for sure. Yeah. Good. Uh, Mercer is resistant to being stunned. That doesn't mean that he cannot get stunned. So we just, let's move him out of range of that goo. We'll let that goo just ignominiously burn. Or maybe we can do that. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, some more people just waiting to be set on fire. I am enjoying the infinite range of the burnout rifle. It's a fantastic weapon. It seems to be very useful on last stand and also in Guild Wars on survivor battles. You can just stay other end of the map, shoot stuff to pieces. Um, and it can't touch you. The fact that you can set things alight means that if you're attacking human enemies, you can, you can one-shot them. You can kill them in one shot. Because the first attack gets them down to the red bar. The second attack is a burning attack. And, uh, yeah, you just ice them in one go. It's, it's pretty great. It's a pretty great feeling, that. Uh, I would like for you, sir, to be exploded. No? Okay. Walkers are getting tough now, they're getting very resilient. You can see that fire is doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. Um, so I was worried about that we wouldn't necessarily get everyone crippled. Sure enough, that speedy was not crippled. Uh, do I want to go here? No, that's just too it's too risky. Um, really want you on fire, mate. Really, really keen. Go on, give it a try. You'll love it. Excellent. There we go. Let's get you cooking as well. Let's show you all the love and then just get the heck out of there it's becoming a target rich environment do we have to use our charge points yet no we can leave Mercer fully charged for the moment but I am concerned about you Can we stun you? Can we do something? I'm worried that the fire's not going to kill him and he might be able to reach Hilltop Maggie, but uh, not a lot we can do about that. Good, good, good. Defensive fire for the win. Would have been lovely if he had gotten snared or something, but there you go. a lot of targets here all lined up all in a row you sir could potentially grab George it's getting dicey let's let's use a charge attack I think I think we're warranted in doing that hit these guys with everything that we've got. Right, now, this tank especially has just, he's got to go. Do we trust that we can cause enough damage that he will burn? Yes. Keep Mercer there and he's out of range of everybody. It doesn't look like he is, but he is. You're not too much of a problem because you're gonna you're gonna be burning. Good. Yeah, that was always a unlikely to actually sort of set him alight because he's Commonwealth, he's resistant to status effects. Let's just 
try and get his health points down, keep on hitting him with stuff, and hopefully eventually he will start cooking. Uh, nope, not that time. Bothers me that you aren't crippled, but... Okay, okay, okay. We've got bad guys closing in from every corner. Let's cripple these speedies and turn them into slowies. Good, you're crippled. You're on fire. That's excellent. Dude, you being cooking as well. Yeah, great. Excellent. We managed to stun one of the Commonwealths. That's great. That's not great. Buys us a little time getting those guys stunned. I can't do anything like necessarily get them on fire or anything. Let's do this, see if that helps us. Not a ton. Gonna have to get at least you or you crippled, otherwise you're gonna be able to reach George there. I feel like what we're doing here is we're we're hanging on by a thread. We need to get some good attacks in here, we need to get some stuns, we need to get something working. Uh, and that's not really what's happened. Can we kill you? Nope. Uh, I, I think I think that this might be it, really. I'm not going to spend any tools. I probably could get out of this, but uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to spend any tools. We just called that a battle there. I think we did okay. I think that was an alright score. Did better than last time, and I've enjoyed both of these battles. That's that's one of the key things. I've enjoyed both of these last stands that we've done. I still think that Hilltop Maggie and Mercer are the only two great character selections that we've got here. But I think we're using them to good effect. I'm pretty happy with those scores. I'm glad I could share it with you. As ever, thank you for watching.